speed to try and make this play. And you can see them pushing this right hand side early on. On board with Sable, he is going to be the designated bomb carrier for this MV lineup, throwing that trophy system off early. Using the MMS as well. Not going to have vision on. In fact, he does. Very weak. Yeah, he got yeah, he got some shots there quickly. Equipment. However, J-Cap was able to take Killa, so it's a 4v3 situation in favor of the Envy squad. So taking out Killa was incredibly helpful for this squad. And let's switch over to J-Cap here. They're all playing a little bit back, as you can see. Quick shot to the mini-map. This entire team for Envy just staying a little bit back here, trying to draw Fariko out. But with this said, this has allowed Fariko, the yellow uh, triangles, to move up and getting really good spots on defense. As we cut back in here, here's J-Cap. Parasite takes out Rambo. It's a 3v3 situation. Shots fired by J-Cap. Takes out Parasite. 3v2 here. Huge plays coming back and forth. 35 seconds left on the clock. Envy either taking out the Fariko squad, but has to get that bomb down if they're not going to do that. The problem is Envy don't have enough time to ever extend just to the other bomb site, but it's going to be Karma left all by himself. If he can take down the bomb planet, which he has done with 23 seconds left, he can't afford to just run away. Try and force the play. One versus two, bomb being planted right now at B. Let's see what Karma is able to do here. Oh my gosh. Bomb oh, planted. Oh, no. Rushed in. Managed to pick down one, but Proofy responds. Gets that round ending kill cam. That's now going to be four rounds to three. Four, three, now the rounds are going to be switched. Let's have a look at the Fariko lineup now. We need to see if they can try and respond on the attack. Who do you want to get on board? Should we see Karma? We're going to jump on board yeah, with Karma ball. here for the Fariko squad as we switch over to him. And let's see what Fariko can do. Envy's got the four to three lead here. Envy only two rounds away. If they can win two consecutive rounds, they will be crowned the Call of Duty champions. The tensions are high here and it only gets higher as these yep. rounds keep getting closer <laughs> and closer. <clears throat> Let's see what Karma's able to do. And these guys, again, now playing, taking kind of a page out of Envy's book, playing a little bit slower, not going to go in for an aggressive B push in the eyes of Karma here. The bomb carrier is actually going to be Parasite sticking on board still with Karma. Let's switch actually on to Parasite here. He does have the bomb. Let's see what he's able to do with it. Just again playing very, very defensive. Neither of these two teams want to give away any pointless kills. Rightly so when you're playing for $200,000. 40 seconds remaining. A few shots going to go down from Parasite. Not going to connect. But time is of the essence. They freak They need to make the play now. They're, they're leaving it a little bit too late for my liking. That's now Parasite. Just going to try and think about getting that bomb down. Going to see one on the left hand side. Is Ooh. he going to connect with a kill? Yes, he is shooting down Proofy. Preemie in the top right. Sees another one, but shut down. Three versus three. Only 21 seconds left. On board with Miracles here for Fariko. Back and forth. Now it's a 3v1 situation. 15 seconds left on the clock. Karma's got to get that bomb down. He gets taken out there. 10 seconds left on the clock. Stainville's got it too. It's oh one versus my one. Goodness. And now the bomb is going to go down. So Stainville's not close. Enough time to get Stainville. the bomb down here. And now the bomb down for Fariko. Stainville has got to come up a hero here and if he does that this will be so massive for the Envy squad and now Killa and Stainville's oh, oh tagged my gosh in. back and forth they see each other a 1v1 battle this is so insane here smart Killa's play. smart play he's going to get out of the way of Stainville trying to oh, big play from Killa oh, goodness big big play he from pops Killa. out he knows that Stainville was going to engage him comes out nice play by Killa to take out Stainville and it's tied 4-4 four, four. Killer. This is the oh. craziest <laughs> series in the history of Call of Duty, man. Oh, this could well be the greatest <laughs> series of Call of Duty ever. It, it, it really, really could. It's been it's so, so close. Kill it right there. I mean, the intelligence. He realized Stainville knew where he was. He ran away and then turned at the perfect time. Managed to get an easy, easy kill on Stainville there and prevent that one versus three clutch. But for now, it's 4-4 four, four here at the oh, Call of Duty God. World Championship Final. Search and destroy meltdown. We're on board with this for Rico lineup. They're currently on defense. Rumble with Killer, he's going to make his way over towards this A-bomb site. He's going to be all by himself, trying to anticipate what Envy are going to do. Now, Envy have been very, very slow on the attack throughout the entire game. They've just been picking their moments, picking their gunfights, and going from there. And Killer is going to have to stay here for a while. Oh, man, this is... So, Killer <laughs> just holding off on A. Envy, I think they kind of understand now that Envy's playing a little bit slower, waiting to draw out for Rico, so they've just got to be patient here and hold down their area. But it looks like Envy's starting to make a push into A. Yep. And it's worth mentioning as well, since we were saying about how big Rambo's been playing, he actually hasn't got a single kill. He's still on 11 kills at this moment in time. So not actually able to carry on that performance, but 34 seconds left. 
Oh, with Killa, Killa, Killa draws one. first blood, takes out Jcap, Stainville returns the favor as we switch over to Miracles here for the Frigo squad, but Stainville is going to get the bomb down for Envy, so on board with Miracles, Parasite takes out Proofy, bomb is down, 3v2 situation, it is at the A-bomb site, Stainville takes him out, switch over to Parasite, picks up a nice kill on Stainville, now it's a 2v1 yep. situation, only Rambo up, bomb is down in favor of the Envy squad, so Frigo at Parasite, Parasite has to be able to get this one out. Karma is with them. And now they're going to breach Bang and Clear here to go for the defuse. They got to find Rambo down. Oh. They find him. Plenty of time on the clock. Karma's got that actually smart play. Going to give it to Parasite because Parasite. Parasite's going to get closer to his RC he's car. Gonna, he's going to get he it. Actually, he's going to get it here. He, is he going to get it? Yep. He's going to get it. The RC car. He's going to grip it and rip it here with that RC car. I, I don't think Parasite's a really good driver with the RC car. <laughs> Actually, I've seen him I, I think you're hard-pressed to find any think, Call of Duty pro player that can use the what, RC car. What you're going to see them do now, this is something we saw at EGL when Parasite actually got an RCXD car. It was the exact same map, actually, interesting enough. What he's going to do is he's going to call that in and he's going to let his teammates chase the RCXD. Now, what that's going to do is enable the Envy players, they have that choice. Do they go for the kill or do they go for the RCXD? So he acts as one Hopefully of those really too difficult... close though and die. Well, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, 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 is, that is obviously <laughs> an option that can happen, but it's a very, very smart play. And we see Fariko do it time and time again. For now, Jcap making his way towards his left hand side bomb site. Fariko is one yep. round away from winning the championship. There you see Killa's car. That was not Parasite. So Parasite still has an RC car as well. We're going to jump on board with him. Smoke screens up. Bomb is going down. No, decides not to. But now he, he does second guess himself. He's going to put the bomb down here. Jcap takes out Karma. Bomb is down oh, for Fariko. He gets out of there, able to dodge it, and then gets taken oh, out. Down. Jumping on with Miracles. It's a 4v2 situation. Envy has to win this round in order to stay in it. Miracles One, picks, up, two. picks up two. Big makes play. It Gets taken out by Stainville, just Killa alive. It's a 1v1. Proofy versus Killa. The bomb is down for Fariko. Shots fired. Killa trying to desperately take out Proofy. Proofy has away. to go out and defuse it. Killa gonna draw him out. Shoot Killa. Oh, so close so to a weak. championship. It's all hanging on this one kill. 12 seconds left on the clock. Proofy has to go back. Killa's gonna have to chase Proofy. Proofy has to go for the defuse here. He's done it. He's gonna get it. Killa's gonna get it. He does it. We have a champion. the championship. Fariko, your winner here. The Call of Duty Championship winner is Fariko. Wow. What an amazing matchup here. Wow. They win $400,000. The trophy, the rigs, the glory, and three consecutive tournament wins. MLG, EGL, and the most important one of them all, the Call of Duty Championship. The hat trick coming from Fariko Impact. And what incredible play from Killer. We saw him do it a few rounds ago. One versus one, baited out the kill. That right there, unbelievable play. That clutch, that was a $200,000 clutch. Just think about that, that's a huge play. What an amazing wow. play. You could not have asked for a better championship final between these two teams. For Rico Impact, they started down. They, they were did. down three to two. They fought back into it inch by inch. Hardpoint Raid, the game that they should have closed it out. Envy said, no, we are going to beat you here, push it to a game 11. And then finally, Fariko Impact wins it 6-4 and just a heart racing finish there in a 1v1. Proofy not able to get the defuse. Fariko Impact wins it. They are your Call of Duty champions. Just what a month it's been match. for them. And what a ma that that's probably the best match series of Black Ops 2 we've ever oh, seen. Yeah. Without, without a doubt. 600,000 hours on the line, <laughs> yeah, too, true. man. I mean, of course, here. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go down to Justine for the award ceremony. Justine, how you doing down there? Wow, guys. Let's all congratulate Rico Impact on their win. And please help me welcome to the stage Treyarch studio head Mark Lamia and David Vonderhaar, game design director of Treyarch. Unbelievable. Absolutely amazing, guys. Congratulations. To you guys, amazing, amazing, amazing run. The whole thing, these finals. Let's hear it for the winners one more time. Fariko Impact. All right. Listen, thanks to all, everybody who participated. I'd like to thank all of our partners, everybody who worked, the team members, everyone who made this possible. Listen, the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox has been the ultimate esports. This weekend we brought together 
the world's best 32 Call of Duty 2 teams. And what, really, really. But who's the best? Farico Impact. You guys made it the whole way. We want to listen. I think it's time to get down to the real business now. So I think we have a little something for you that we want to present to you, aside from this trophy. All right. All right. Here it is, guys. All right, David. 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 Here we go, guys. We'd like to present to you, on behalf of Treyarch, Activision, and Xbox, $400,000. Amazing, amazing. You guys have had an amazing run. You deserve it. You are the best Call of Duty team in the world. Congratulations. So let's take a real quick photo here. David, come on. All right, congratulations. Good luck. All right. Hey, to everybody in the Call of Duty community, thank you. We'd be nothing without fans like all of you. Like the, like the players on these teams we've seen over the last couple of days, like our friends online that we play with all the time. All right. Listen, there's one more thing. There's another cause that celebrates our community, something that's extremely important to Treyarch and Activision, and that's the Call of Duty Endowment. That's the video that you saw earlier. The Call of Duty Endowment, or CODE, as it's also known, was founded by our CEO, Bobby Kotick, in 2009. It's an organization that's dedicated to helping veterans transition back into civilian life by finding meaningful work. And I'm thrilled to be able to tell you here today that Activision Blizzard donated